Uh, in this example, we are going to take a look at the rate at which the surface level of a liquid is rising within a cylindrical tank. So we'll start off with a diagram as per usual. Okay, so there's my cylindrical tank and uh, I've got a radius of 5, so I'll try to make that happen there. So there's 5 and then I've got a height of 9. Okay, good. So there's my 9, there's my 5. Okay, um, so now what we need is we're looking for uh, something that relates the volume of the cylinder because we're given the rate of change of volume compared to determine the rate at which the surface level of the liquid is rising. That's, that tends to suggest to me that we're looking for something that relates to height. Well, the volume of a, of a cylinder is given by pi r squared h. Again, we've got maybe one too many variables in here. Three's a crowd, right? Uh, nowhere in this question are we really either interested in or given the rate of change of the radius. So I need to get rid of this radius. But um, if you look at the cylinder, the radius is never going to change. It's, it's actually just always going to be 5. So unlike a cone that narrows down sort of at the end there, such that the radius of the surface of the water would change all the time, especially as you as as more water is poured in in a cylinder the radius is always just going to be five so i think that solves my problem quite easily if i just sub in five for the radius then i'll just end up with v is equal to 25 pi h that's a really simple linear equation right and <clears throat> if you think about it the the linear aspect of this scenario is that the the water is rising linearly it's rising constantly at a rate of 5 cubic meters per minute. So if you actually think about it a little bit more, you don't really even need calculus to figure this out. Uh, I'll leave that, that non-calculus or pre-calculus method of figuring out the answer to this question up to you. Okay, but uh, let's continue with our calculus-based method. So once we have the equation that relates the two quantities that we want to compare, uh, we can go to the related rates equation by differentiating this equation here. So dv dt is equal to 25 pi, uh, derivative of h is 1, chain rule times dh dt. Okay, so it's as simple as that. We'll sub in 5 cubic meters per minute for dv dt equals 25 pi times dh dt. So the dh dt, simply put, would be equal to 5 divided by 25 pi which is approximately, well, which is exactly 1 over 5 pi, which is approximately equal to uh, 0 0.06, I do believe is what I calculated. Let me just double check here. 0 0.064, we'll say. It doesn't say what to round to. So 0 0.064, uh, and this would be meters per minute. 